Okay, so this is Task Pro login page. I'm going to log in with an incorrect password just to see this message. Now let's log in with the correct password. Here we go. Now we're at the dashboard. Here we can see uh, my projects, my tasks, and my due tasks. And this is the beautiful chart which shows summarized projects for every project. Now here is the section where we can see the tasks which are in progress. We can see project name, task name, deadline, and also we can mark it as completed. We're not going to do that right now. Um, from here we can change name, profile photo, password, and we can also log out. Not going to do that. Now let's go to the section where we can see all our projects. Here are the projects in which I am a part of and uh, I can sort this A to Z, Z to A or last modified. Let's open a project. Here we can see the status, completed tasks, in progress tasks and overdue tasks. And we can also see the total percentage of project that is completed. From here there are multiple options. We can change the status, overdue, active or completed and here are the tasks that belong to this project we can filter them based on their status all tasks are assigned to the same user because in this project there's only one user but let's create a new project let's call it testing testing Now, for the demonstration purposes, I will generate a description randomly. Uh, let's select a deadline. Now let's select members. And our project is created. Now we are on the project page we just created. And from here, I will add a task. Once again, I will generate randomly. Let's pick a deadline. And who should I assign it to? It will only show the members which are part of the project. I assigned it to John. Uh, here I can see the task has been added. Here are options to change name description and everything I will correct the name and we can see it has been successfully changed we can also change the status here and let's go back to our project we can see uh, the status has been changed here and we can see all the members and we can also sort them or show admins only and here's the discussion section. Here the messages are real time and I implemented it using Firebase. Let's see it from another account. Uh, as you can see the message is here and I will send a new message as John. And if I go back, the message is there. Now let's uh, check out the tasks section where the user can see all of their tasks regardless of their status. They can filter them and they can also search them using queries. So if I type something, only those tasks will be shown which contain that query. Now I will log out from here and I will show you the mobile version.